Hey friends, uh, welcome back. Uh, we should see the branching instructions now in the MIPS uh, uh, learning process. And we'll also demonstrate how exactly this branching instructions uh, BEQ or BNE works. We'll go with that right now. And the first instruction that we'll have to learn is BEQ, which is nothing but branch if equal. How does it work and how does it look like? Very simple, BEQ, first register, second register, and the value here. You need to check now if the values in the registers, these two registers are equal. And if they are equal, you will branch to this address. That's all. You need to get into the appropriate address and jump there. That's it. It's very simple. Can we go to the code? The code is very simple as well. Dot text dot global main. And in the main, I load T1 with 5. I load T2 with 3. And now I'll have to check if I can use BEQ. Branch if equal T1 and T2. If they are equal, I'll have to move to end. In the end, what I have written is, I have just called the system call to exit the code properly. It's a smooth exit. If they are not equal, which means they are not equal right now, I should go with add immediate T3, T2, T5, which means the T2's content will be added with 5. 3 should be added with 5 and the result should be moved to T3. Very simple. I'm going to compare these two registers. In case these two registers' contents are equal, I will branch to the end. If they are not equal, I'll go to the next line and complete the process. Can we go to the demo? I have got a couple of quick uh, quick uh, demos here, which I have tried it out and you can probably see that and understand how exactly things work. The same piece of code, no change. T1 is five, T3, T2 is two. Now I'm going to compare them. And if they are equal, it should jump. Since they are not equal, it should add five with three and the result should move to T3, which means, I am going to update the T3 register with the value 8 after the compilation. That's what I'm showing right now. The T2 should be added with 5 more to it. So we should get 5 plus 3, which is nothing but 8. Can you go ahead and see the way it is run? Let's reinitialize the registers. Let me load the file. And you can see that all the registers are empty and they are all uh, initialized to 0. 5, 3 are the values. And T2 is with 5 and we need to update T2 with 5 if they are found unequal. You can see that here. T1 is 5, T2 is 3, and the T2 is added with 5 because T1 and T2 are not equal. Now, we need to go ahead and change the values. So, I'm going to see if we can set both the values, T1 and T2 equal. So, T1 has got 5 and T2 has got 5. So, this add immediate should not work and it should just come out to end and it should exit. So, the values will remain as such and there will not be any update in T3 register. T1 and T2 both will remain the same. And can you see that? Yes, it has been compiled. You can see that T1 is 5, T2 is 5, and T3 is 0, which means it has not been updated. That's it. The BEQ is done. Now, we will go with the next one. Branch if not equal. It is just complement of that. Sir. There is no major uh, difference in the approach. The only thing that we need to do is, last time the branching happened when they were equal. This time the branching will happen if they are not equal. So, I am going to load 5 and 5 here which means T1 has got 5, T2 has got 5. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. So, this will be, this line will be executed, add immediate line will be executed. Once I change the values to both the equals which are not, which are not being equal, I, I mean, when they are not equal, I'll get it branched to this line. So, it will exit when they are not equal. It will get into addition mode if they are equal, which means T2 will be updated with another 10, 10 plus 5, 15 will be added and T3 will be updated with the value 15. That's it. Can you see the demo? The demo will get you better clarity. The same case, there is no major change other than the instruction and the way the instruction is used. Li T1 is loaded with 5, T2 is loaded with 5. Now I am BNE is you being used, which means branch if not equal. They are actually equal. So the branching will not happen. Uh, this part won't be executed and I must get add immediate uh, executed and T2 to be uh, updated with 10 more to it. So 15 should be the value which is to be loaded in T3. Uh, can we go ahead and see the demo right now? It is branch if not equal. Remember it. Uh, we can see that I am pulling the Qt spim and I am clearing all the uh, registers by reinitializing. I am loading the uh, code. BNE is loaded. You can see that all the registers are empty and they are filled with appropriate initialized values. And T1 is 5, T2 is 5. Since both are equal, I went to the addition part, add immediate got executed and it did not go to the exit. It did not end there. End module was not called. Instead, it was going to the next subsequent line, add immediate, and 10 was added to it, and 15 is updated in T3. 
Now, can we make it a different thing? I am going to make it not equal, which means it should go ahead and exit. It should go ahead to the end loop and it should call it. The method will be called and we can see that right now. I am loading the uh, code. Let's see if all of them are set to zero. Yes, all of them are zero. Now, let me run it. You can see that 5 and 3 are not equal. Hence, it came to end module right away and it did not call the add immediate. So, T3 remains as it was earlier. That's it. We have completed this part of it and we have learned how to use BEQ and BNE. There are some pseudo instructions that are made available for this assembler specifically and they are BGT which is nothing but branch on greater than. We can see that here this is pseudo instruction branch on greater than. It will branch only if first register is found to be having the content greater than the second register. Branch on greater than or equal to. If the first register is greater than or equal to the second register's content, then it will branch. Branch on less than. You can see that the same way as BGT, but the first register's content should be less than the second register's content and that's it. All these three are pseudo instructions and they are not part of MIPS. They are part of this assembler. So remember, it is just part of the assembler and they are not regular instructions. I hope it was clear. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. So I'll be able to answer it. If you like the channel, the content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.